So, just to summarize, what we will keep doing is we will keep looking at the same things from three different points of view. Geometry suggests, well, you have to look at certain concepts, like an angle. You have to measure an angle. But it doesn't tell you how to measure, how to compute. Algebra tells you how to compute anything, anything you want. Without any thinking, without any meaning, right? You want angle, boom. You want projection, boom, right? But no meaning here. Here, you, you just you should not search for any meaning unless you give it some meaning. And physics, well, physics suggests no. You don't really care about the angle. You care about the cosine of the angle and sine of the angle, and those make sense because they represent something something physically. So those points of view will provide questions, will provide meanings, but they have those limitations of being three-dimensional and not beyond. And algebra doesn't have those. And why, why do we need to go further? Well, we will see later some examples. Uh, well, just for example, if I wanted to measure something else and something else and something else about myself and about somebody else, right? Well then, those sets of numbers belong to five-dimensional space. And you can still treat them as vectors in that five-dimensional space. And you can never imagine geometry of that space or physics of that space. But you can still ask about the angle without even an attempt to visualize what the angle means. What is that angle going to be for you? Well, it's going to be this. Take those things, make dot product. Well, how do we make dot product? This times that, plus this times that, plus this times that, right? The usual formula. How do you make magnitude of this? Square root of this squared plus this squared plus that squared plus that squared, right? So, all these things generalize to any dimension you want. You can still compute all those things, but you will never visualize more. So that's the power of algebra. It can push you as far as you want, but you will have no support of visualization or physics when you go beyond dimension three. And you will have to uh, for some very practical purposes. So we'll see examples later.